In today's video, you will learn how to create a cheesy, dripping text animation in After Effects in just a few minutes. Also, you can download the ready-made editable After Effects project file from the link in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with creating a new composition. You can see the composition settings on my screen. So first, I select Text Tool and write our text and then I align it to the center. After that, I am going to pre-compose this layer and name it as a text holder so we can replace the text later. And now I'm going to the Effects and Presets panel and here I search CC Smear Effect and then I add it to this layer. So once I add it, you can see there is two points which we can manipulate. Now let's see settings to understand how it works. By tweaking this value, we can manipulate the reach value. And then comes the radius, so we can control the radius from here and below it. You will find tip type. Here we got different options, but now I am stick with the classic one. Now I reset this effect and let's create a dripping text. So I select the form point and place it just below the text like this. And then I add keyframe on the two and reach values. And then I reposition this point like this. And then I change the reach amount to zero at the first frame. Then I go to and one half seconds. And here I change the reach value to around 70. So it will look like this. And then I select this point and drag it like this. Also, I increase radius a little bit until the text go out of the frame. And now, if I scrub the timeline so you can see how it will drip, now press U to see all the keyframes, and then I make those keyframes as Bezier keyframes to make overall animation smoother. So right now, if you want to add more drops into this text, so just simply select the effect and then duplicate it. And then here you can see the second smear effect keyframes. Now go to the first frame and then simply change the points, positions of this effect like this. Make sure both points vertically aligned. Let's see shot preview. To get a slight variation, simply select the keyframes and reposition it. So this way you can get a randomness in dripping animation. Just like we did before, if you want more drops in this text, so repeat this process to add more dripping elements. Let's move forward and now we are going to see how we can make our text as a cheesy dripping animation. So first I select the layer and duplicate it and then I hide the first layer. Also I remove all the effects from the bottom layer and now I rename this layer as a text echo. Then I select the from point and place it just below the text. And then I select another point and place it here. Then I add a keyframe on all four properties. And then I change the reach to zero at the first frame. And then I go to two seconds and change the reach to 100. And then I increase the radius around 1000. And then I select the bottom point and drag it to downwards like this. Also, I increase radius a little bit until the text go out of the frame. Let's see how it look. Then I select all the keyframes and change it to Bezier keyframes to make the animation smoother. You can also adjust the keyframe to get a little variation if you want. Now I select this text and then I search effect called echo. And I add it to this layer and then I change the echo time to around negative 0.009. Then I change the number of echoes to 20. 
So we will get this look. And now I search another effect called Gradient Ramp. And then I add it to this layer. Also, I duplicate this layer and rename it as a main text. Now we can delete the echo and the gradient ramp effect from this layer. Let's see the short preview. And as you can see here, we already achieved our cheesy text stripping effect. And you can change the text echo layer color as well to look better. But right now, if you can see a closer look on the text, so we got some edgy lines on background text. So to make this smoother, I go to the Effects and Preset panel, and then I search a Gaussian Blur effect, and add it to the Text Eco layer. And if I increase the blurriness, you can see the sharpness of the text is gone, and now it will look very smooth. Alright, so one last thing I would like to share with you that if you go to the text holder layer and then if I rename this text and then I go back to the main composition so our text is updated but the rest animation is the same. So I always recommend you to pre-compose the text layer and then you can proceed with the effects. So that's how you can create a cheesy dripping text animation in After Effects. That's it for now. See you in the next video.